Sorry guys, I realized I started the video without actually pressing the record button, so I'm going to explain it now. So the topic for today is chemical senses. We're going to speak about uh, smell and taste. Starting with the smell, you've got the receptor cells located in the, the olfactory epithelium obviously in the nose and the olfactory nerve is obviously the first cranial nerve and it is the first order neuron. Uh, it is the smallest and hence the slowest. <clears throat> it's also innervated by the fifth cranial nerve which is the trigeminal nerve but that is only for painful and noxious stimuli such as ammonia. Um, then there are two terms that you need to know. So there is hyposmia which is a reduced sense of smell and then anosmia which is like no sense of smell at all. So we said that the olfactory epithelium was the first one. So that's our receptor, which goes to the olfactory bulb. And the olfactory bulb from there goes to three different places. It can go to either. So <clears throat> first we can go to the limbic system, which is the hippocampus. And uh, for memory of smell, then we can go to the hypothalamus, the amygdala, which is also part of the limbic system. For emotional um Emotions attached to smell, and then we go to the frontal cortex, which is the actual perception of the smell. From here, we, uh, as we said, the epithelium is olfactory, and it's got cilia, which detects it. And obviously, going to the physiology part of the smell, we know that there has to be a mechanism, right? So there's depolarization, which is opening of the sodium channels, and this happens by activation of the G proteins and this is in the cilia cause and this in turn activates the adenylate cyclase pathway which opens up the sodium channels and there is the polarization and sense of smell. Now the receptors are located in the concha and they are chemoreceptors. All right um, so the pathway goes for the first order neuron was the olfactory nerve then we have the second order neuron which is the mitral cells and they go to the pre piriform cortex obviously which is the cere cerebrum and this tract is called the olfactory tract right so we go from the olfactory receptors to the olfactory nerve to the olfactory tract and then we go to the three different places that we spoke about so the hippocampus, the hypothalamus, and the frontal cortex. Just going to write everything down. As a picture, you can see the olfactory cilia, the olfactory cells, then the mitral or mitral cells to the, in the olfactory bulb, then the tract, and then the olfactory cortex. That would be it for smell. Now moving on to taste. So the receptors are located obviously in the tongue and you have, the receptor cells are the taste buds. Okay, now the taste buds, they are not neurons. They're not nerves like the olfactory nerve. They are but papillae, specialized papillae. And there are several. So we're going to focus on fungiform, which is in the anterior two-third of the tongue. And the folate or the circumvallate which is in the posterior part of the tongue okay so the tastes are bitter which has the most sensitivity then you go to sour then sweet and then salty sweet and salty are in the anterior parts mostly by the fungiform uh, papillae and bitter and sour in the posterior this is known as the gustatory pathway so the taste buds are like the receptor cells and for the smell have cilia these taste buds have microvilli which increases the surface area and obviously helps in the perception of taste so, so there are some factors that affect taste like the smell obviously you know that some people hold their nose and then they don't feel the taste as much and then you have vision obviously thermo temperature and the mechanoreceptors they all affect the taste of something um, 
Now, so the the innovation is very important. It's not by one single nerve, but it's by two, or we can say, yeah, two nerves, okay? So the anterior two-thirds is by the seventh cranial nerve, which is the facial nerve, through the corda tympani. It is for salty and sweet, as I mentioned, the anterior for the fungiform papillae. The posterior part, uh, one-third, is by the glossopharyngeal nerve, which is the cranial nerve number nine. Okay, and it's for sour and bitter. And the posterior part to that, the palate and the stuff, is by the vagus nerve, but that is not for the taste. All right, now uh, speaking about the pathway. So both these nerves, even the vagus nerve, they go to the nucleus solitarius or the nucleus of the solitary tract. And obviously the tract to there is called the solitary tract. And then from there, it goes to the thalamus, to the ventral posterior, ventral posterior medial nucleus of the thalamus, and by the insula to the gustatory cortex, which is obviously in the cerebrum. And that would be your gustatory pathway. I'm sorry for the quality of this video, but I hope it was comprehensible. Here's a representation. You can see the three nerves in the, terminating in the solitary nucleus in the medulla and then into the cortex. Happy studying, guys! <laughs>